right, welcome to episode three of Groundwork to Greatness. Today we're going to be talking about feeding and just basic nutrition for yearlings. Uh, this is Rain, who's outside. I give her about eight to 12 hours of pasture time a day, which is very good for them. They move around, they're constantly grazing. The grass has got good water content in them, in addition that they have water outside that they drink. Uh, the grass here in Florida isn't always the best, so I always use supplements to help get proper nutrition because our grass here is kind of weedy. But if you live somewhere like Kentucky or New York, the grass provides a lot of nutrition, like phosphorus and all kinds of good vitamins that they need to grow strong. This is Rain, and I'm going to talk a little bit about body score. So Rain is probably about a body score of five, which is moderate. With your yearling, you're going to want to keep them on a moderate score, which is a five, or a four, which is a little bit on the thinner side. You do not want to have them on the fatter side because this can cause trauma to their joints at a young age. One of the key things to look for is you can see how her fetlocks are nice and rounded. If they start to get square-like or bulky, then they're a little overweight. So they have that nice roundness to them where there's no fat on the fetlocks. Another way that you can look is through the ribs, but there's a good layer of fat covering the ribs. And then also the fat pads on the butt. You do not want to have fat pads right here. So you can see she's toned, and but not fat. The fat pad will stick out a little bit higher than the butt, and it'll be very, very squishy. So here you can see she's well-rounded, but there's no lump here that is a fat pad. Hi, welcome to our feed room. I just want to be showing you what I like to see right I uh, feed her a combination of purina, ultium growth, oats, and wheat pulp without molasses. And then she also gets a smart pack, which has electrolytes, vitamins, and then a mixture of flaxseed and nebrita, which helps keep her black. Um, I only feed about two pounds of grain per day because it's very high in sugar. Uh, I like to keep it less grain as possible. She's not in work, so the reason I feed it to her is to get her some fruit protein in her diet that she's not getting from her hay and her pasture time. I also like to feed oats, which also have good protein and carbs, which will keep her getting, getting some weight as uh, they grow. And then I also feed her a shredded beet pulp, and this has no molasses in it because, again, like I said, you want to avoid sugar. Um, the beet pulp allows them to have plenty of fiber in their diet and keep all their bowels moving correctly. And then I mix it all in the buckets, and then she gets one smart pack of bread, and I fill it about halfway through with water, soak it for about an hour, and uh, that's what she eats twice a day. I like to feed Rain a mixture of Timothy and orchard grass, as you can see here. Uh, Rain gets about 20 pounds of hay a day, fed in two servings of 10 pounds, one at 5 p.m. and another at 10 p.m. I put her hay in a slow feed net because she will eat it like a ravaging animal. Uh, so this helps slow her down so she doesn't consume all of it immediately. Uh, and this helps to take out how many hours she'll be eating for, which is better to have them eating for more hours than less. Um, a very important thing about feeding the right amount of hay is that hay like this, a grass hay that's relatively fresh, is very high in calories, so to weigh your hay is very important and vital to make sure that your horse is getting enough and isn't getting too much. It's another thing to keep in mind when you look at your horse's body score. If they're scoring a five, which is moderate, keep doing what you're doing. If your horse is a three, four, feed about five pounds, ten pounds more a day than what I would say you're now feeding. If your horse is a six, I would dock it down to about five or 10 pounds less, because when they're a little heavier, when they're yearlings, which is a six, which is moderately fat, you want to make sure that they're not putting too much strain on their joints and carrying around extra weight that they shouldn't be having. A is very good for them. It has vitamins A, D, and E, and it also contains phosphorus, which makes up 80% of their bone density and along with calcium, which is 99%. So feeding hay is very important to help them develop good immune systems and strong bones to be developing into sport horses.